let the pressure get to her. She didn't go for it. That's a shame we were leading the whole time. We were really better today. Overall. It's, it's okay, don't be upset because it's not it's not important. Okay, what's important is that when you get in situations like this, you still go all out. because we're used to winning because of beam, not losing because of beam. So it's sort of a weird feeling. But we did a lot of good things. We have a lot of work to do. I thought you guys looked sharp. It was a good way to start. Good job, girls. Good job, ladies. If we'd have won this meet with balls, we wouldn't learn the lesson as good. We're going to learn it tonight. Okay? All right, short go dogs. One, two, three. Get it up! You know, in their minds, failure. Everyone experienced disappointment. It's important to talk, talk about how they feel about the competition and so that we can really build on, you know, what we did and not repeat the same mistakes and have the focus in the right place. I thought I saw like, like three oh, Hello, San Francisco. <laughs> the team needs to know that we have to be able to hit four events and uh, much better now than in a championship. to Utah. I haven't spoken to the team yet about it. I just felt like they needed time to process it. Everybody was so tired. You know, a competition like that takes so much emotion out of, uh, you know, really strongly competitive athletes and they need some time to just process everything that went on. <laughs> about the loss. I can sense that and it's time to let it go and, and get it going, you know, and rally and, and, and bring it back up right now. That's what champions do and right now this is when we'll really see it, see if they've got that winner's heart, that courage. I was planning to talk to you last night about the Utah meet. As you know, losses are adversity. <laughs> I guess that's what you call a loss, especially for a team that doesn't lose very often. We, we go to compete to win. Mistakes are adversity. And we experience a good bet. Now, for just a second, we want to talk about the balance beam situation. The scenario changed, and Tiffany had a fall. And Tiffany's fall, I'm not even going to talk to you very much about because it was just out, it was one of those random things that happened that, you know, it just, it's like a cough. Where'd it come from? You know, you don't give it any thought. It's over, it doesn't matter. But it created a situation for Courtney that put her in a situation where she had a new skill, a difficult skill. Now, what she's feeling right now, do you want to tell them what you're feeling? Or do you want me to tell them what you're feeling? You go ahead. I just, I had confidence in myself, but with all the scenarios and just thinking about the skill, and I was nervous yesterday. Um, and so I didn't doubt myself. I was like, well, should I do this? Should I not do it? Should I do this? And I had a, I thought Susie was going to come up to me, um, just like she has in the past. Um, and when she didn't, I was like, oh, well, maybe she does have confidence in me. Like, so that started building my confidence that I was just nervous and let it get to me and didn't, you know, I, I knew I could do it before I stepped up there. Um, but I think the doubting, I shouldn't have had any doubt. Because if I didn't have any doubt, I would have made it. But I did have doubts, so there was something still creeping in there that I was trying to cover up, and it came out. So, and I felt bad, and I more feel bad, not for the fall, unfortunately, but for the way I was thinking. Because if I had thought through the process better, it would have happened. So. Do you feel like you let people down? A little bit. Do you guys feel like she let you down? I think that that mistake that she made is as much your responsibility as is hers because you doubted her too. And she can't feel that. People can feel that. Who here can feel when a team has confidence in them? Absolutely, there's no question about it you can feel it. This is our team. 
This is our year. This is our drive. We play it out the way we want to play it out. We decide how it's played out. Not Utah, not Stanford, not Florida, not Alabama. We decide. We're not the same team right now that we were last April. That's the process that we have to go through to get there. We have to compete to get the confidence, to get the mental toughness. I, I think you've got the winner's heart, I think, I hope. I don't think that goes away. But, you know, some of the other things are just part of the process. I don't want to think you have the winner's heart. I want to know it. I want to see it in your eyes when you walk out there on the floor today. See it in your eyes. Every one of you. Get it done. Own it. Own it. Own the season. You decide how it plays out. Take the adversity and kick it. And come back stronger. Grace Taylor and Yama Jim Law. Give us a good one, Grace. Nikki Kyle. Hillary Marlowe. Paige Burns and I'm a Jim Dog. Oh! Abby Stack and I'm a Jim Dog. Marcia Newby and I'm a Jim Dog. Kathleen McComb, and I'm proud to be a good dog. Tiffany Tolnick, and I am a gym dog. Come on, Tiff. Nice. Courtney McCool, and I'm a gym dog. Go, McCool! Love it! Yeah. Courtney Kupetz, and I'm a gym dog. Come on, baby, go for it. You guys should be really happy with what you did today. The best part is, you look like you were really enjoying yourself for the majority of the time. The majority of the time. You know, and that's really good. So let's just keep it going. You should be proud of yourself. One, two, three. Yes! Georgia Gymnastics is a team of winners. 